Construct the minimal DFA that accepts the strings over A's and B's where each string contains the substring AB. Given alphabet is A comma B and each string is of the form X A B X where X can be a string over A's and B's or it can just be an epsilon. So the language L contains the set of all strings a B A A B B A B A A B A A A B B B A B A B A B B and so on. Since the language does not have epsilon, the empty string we the initial state will not be the final state. Let's say Q0 is our initial state. Let's consider the minimal string AB and try to construct the skeleton of DFA. On seeing A from Q0, we move to state Q1. On seeing B from Q1, we move to state Q2 and accept this string. Q2 is our final state. Now let's check whether each state has transition over all input symbols. The input symbols are A and B here. So Q0 has a transition over A. It does not have a transition over B. So what happens if a string like B A B occurs? This string is in our language and when we see B from Q0, we will be in this state only waiting for a, a B to occur. No matter how many B's I see at Q0, I will be in Q0 only like this string or B B B A B or B B B B A B. So no matter how many B's I see for all these B's, I will be in Q0 only. Once I see an A, I move to Q1 and if I see B from Q1, I go to Q2 and accept this string. So Q1 is complete. It has a transition over A and it has a transition over B. Now come to Q1. Q1 has transition over B, but it does not have a transition over A. So how did we reach Q1? on seeing A. So on seeing A from Q0 we reached Q1. So what if we have an A at Q1. This string is not a valid I mean this is not a this is not in our language. So when 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 can we say that a string is in our language if it has a substring AB. So if we have B here we can accept this string. If we have a B here, we can accept this string. So, I will be waiting at Q1 until a B arrives. Right? So, if I have an A at Q1, I will be waiting here without moving to any other state. I will move to Q2 only if I see B. So whenever we see a B from Q1, we accept it. Strings like A, 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 B, A, 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 B and so on. All these come under this category. So on seeing A at Q1, we will be in Q1 only. No matter how many A's I see, I will be waiting for a B to occur and then I will go to final state. So Q1 is also completed. Now coming to Q2. How did we reach Q2? On seeing the string AB. We reached Q2 by seeing A and then B. Right? If I see an A at Q2, we still need to accept this string because ABA is in our language. So on seeing A from Q2, I will be in Q2 only accepting the string. What if I see 
a b after a b what if i see a b at q2 i still be accepting this string because it contains a b as a substring so for b also i will be in q2 only now this even q2 is completed so all the states which i have in dfa are completed and you can see that even this dfa does not have a dead state dead state is not there but still it can reject any string which is not in our language let's consider a string which is not in our language let's say ba ba is not in our language on seeing b from q0 i will be in q0 only on seeing a from q0 i will go to q1 and we reached the end of the string but we still didn't reach the final state so this string is not accepted by the dfa let's consider another string a a a even this is not in our language and we'll see how our dfa responds to this string on seeing a from q0 we go to q1 on seeing a from q1 we will be in q1 only on seeing a from q1 we will be in q1 only and we reached the end of the string but we didn't we didn't go to the final state we still are in q1 which is a non final state so this string is also not accepted by the dfa you can verify any string which is not in our language and this dfa does not accept the string